one reason we love cruise vacations is because they're such a great value. Most of your dining, onboard activities, and onboard entertainment is covered in one fare. Of course, with that said, there are a variety of cruise lines at different price points. And if you're looking to save the most money as possible, this video is for you as we have a detailed look at the cheapest cruise lines and how you can save the most money on a cruise vacation up next. Welcome aboard cruisers. I'm Don from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you see the world one port at a time. And it's true that most of us are looking to save money, but even if you're on a tight budget, don't give up your chance on a cruise vacation. There are a few options out there that'll let you set sail for rock bottom prices. And before we compare the options, first question you might be asking yourself is, what is a good price for a cruise? Of course, that answer does vary as what you think might be a good price for a cruise might be more than others are willing to spend. A good rule of thumb is the best price for a cruise is one that you can afford on a ship and itinerary you actually want to sail on. But a solid ballpark estimate for a well-priced cruise is one that's less than $100 per person per night. If there's a cruise fare that you find that's $50 or less per night, then you have found yourself a super cheap cruise. So for the most part, the cheapest cruise lines we're gonna be looking at have some per person costs of around $50 to $100 per person per day. Now, in quoting those figures, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. Odds are the cheapest cruise fare for any cruise ship or any cruise line is going to be for an inside cabin. These cabins tend to be the smallest cabins on the ship. And as the name implies, they're actually on the interior of the cruise ship. So that means there's no windows and definitely no balcony. Also keep in mind that these quoted prices are usually based on what's called a guaranteed stateroom. This means that you don't get to pick the specific deck and cabin location. You're basically just auto assigned a cabin by the cruise line. And sometimes you may not even know that cabin location until just a few weeks before you're sailing. So if you're interested in knowing your exact stateroom category or upgrading to a larger cabin or something like an ocean view or balcony, just keep in mind that those upgrades are going to cost you more money. The good news too, is you don't have to go anywhere special to book these cruises. Cruise lines typically do offer their best rates through their own channels their website. However, we also recommend that you work with a travel advisor, which can help you get additional perks like maybe a free bottle of wine or some onboard credit when booking. Any of these perks, of course, would reduce the overall cost of your vacation. In terms of baseline price, a good travel advisor can also help determine if you qualify for any special discounts. Also, occasionally travel advisors have access to group rates that have a price that's lower than the advertised price on the cruise lines website. Just make sure you look through the fine print before finalizing your purchases in case you need to cancel or update your booking. Do you have a Costco's membership? The wholesale chain is actually known for having some decent deals on travel packages as well as occasionally discounted cruises. Also when comparing prices, make sure you look for any particular promotions and sales that the cruise line is running. If you're booking with a travel advisor, make sure that that travel advisor allows you to combine any promotion or deal they have with those sales and promotions happening through the cruise line. When is the best time to book to ensure you get the cheapest cruise? Cruise lines tend to pull out their biggest promotions during a period known as the wave season, which typically runs from January to March. Although lately we've seen these cruise lines running specials and promotions essentially throughout the year. And of course, while the terms and conditions may vary, booking a cruise during other times of year, maybe like a Black Friday sale or during Memorial Day could save you even more money. Of course, some sales and promotions are better than others. So we recommend bookmarking the sites of the cruise lines you're considering to check in on the latest promotions. They'll often list expiration dates of current deals. Or for a less manual approach, it's easy to set up automatic alerts on various websites when the price of your cruise ship dips below a certain amount. This is where a good travel advisor can also help you out. Some travel advisors will monitor prices for you. And then when those prices hit a certain threshold, they can actually put a temporary hold on a reservation. Typically these courtesy holds last for 24 hours, giving you time to review the cruise and make that final decision. If you want to put a deposit down on that particular ship 
and sailing. Now that you know more about how to get a cheap cruise, let's take a look at the three cruise lines that routinely have the cheapest cruise fare. And if you're watching this video, there's probably one cruise line that pops at the top of your head, and that's Carnival Cruise Line. Carnival is known as America's Cruise Line, so they offer some of the most affordable cruise options in the market. But cheap should not be confused with low quality. Carnival has invested heavily in its extensive fleet. The cruise line has added many ships with jaw dropping features, like the Bolt Roller Coaster, and restaurants helmed by celebrity chefs like Emeril Lagasse. Still, when you load up its homepage, Carnival's main messaging is, we pride ourselves on fun for absolutely everyone. It also touts a promo with 40% of all sailings, plus up to $50 in onboard credit. If you take a look at some of the absolutely cheapest Carnival fares, you will be investigating three-day weekend getaways. Keep in mind, prices change all the time based on the promotions. So the prices we're quoting you in this video may be higher or lower when you go to book your particular cruise. But doing our research, we found a Bahama sailing from Miami for $179 per person. After adding taxes and port fees, the total cost for two cruisers on that sailing is $620, or just slightly over $100 per person per day. Cruise Line also is offering reduced deposits, making the booking process much easier. In all fairness, we did notice that the sailing was on board an older ship, Carnival Conquest, and this budget-friendly cruise didn't set sail until January of 2025. So you essentially would be booking it for an entire year in advance, which may or may not work depending on your vacation time. If you were looking to sail sooner, we actually found a four-day cruise on Carnival Radiance out of Los Angeles doing a Baja Mexico cruise in January of 2024. The total cost for two cruisers in an inside guaranteed cabin was $595, which is about $75 per person per day. So if you're looking for a last minute cruise, that might be a great option. Typically, a slightly longer sailing will reduce the per night price, although this is not always the case. For instance, the cheapest seven night Caribbean cruise was an Eastern Caribbean cruise on Carnival Magic, approximately a year in advance, with a total cost of $87 per person per night for the voyage. And of course, if you wanted to sail on some of the cruise lines, it was ships like Carnival Celebration or Carnival Jubilee, that will cost you more money as well. But overall, when evaluating the cheapest cruise lines, Carnival has several advantages. For us, one of the key advantages is the casual dining. Many of its ships feature venues such as Guy's Burgers, the Blue Iguana Cantina, as well as a well laid out and well stocked buffet. Not to mention pizza parlors that open late into the night Carnival also features many family-friendly activities with nightly entertainment that's also family-friendly. However, many of the youth programs are geared toward younger children with its Dr. Seuss partnership. And while there are nightly shows, we believe that the entertainment is pretty subpar, especially when compared to other brands like Royal Caribbean or Norwegian Cruise Line. And just to be 100% honest, there's going to be a lot of kids on board this ship and a lot of families. So areas can get quickly crowded. However, one reprieve would be the serenity. So when investigating these carnival cruises, see if your ship has adult only deck space, which would help you escape from the crowds. It's a relatively new player when it comes to cheap cruises from North America. MSC Cruises, which is a privately owned Italian cruise line has been making major waves in North America in the past few years. There's a fleet of over 20 ships that are deployed worldwide, and there are more and more ships sailing from different ports in the US, and they're all competitively priced. For instance, we found a four-night Bahamas cruise on MSC Magnifica that visited the cruise line's private island of Ocean Key Marine Reserve going for $79.50 per person. A last-minute cruise on the same ship and itinerary had a starting price equivalent to $54.75 per person for an inside cabin. It is true that the three and four day cruises offered by MSC Cruises are among some of the cheapest, but to be quite honest, they're also on some of the line's older vessels. We have sailed on several MSC Cruises ships and can attest that the ships themselves are beautiful. These ships have most of the amenities you come to expect for a family-friendly cruise line. 
These cruise ships feature a buffet, as well as a main dining room included in your cruise fare. There's also children's programming, as well as several other bars and lounges for nightly entertainment. But when comparing the cheapest cruise lines, where MSC Cruises really shines is its seven day itineraries. Some of its newest and most innovative ships sail from the East Coast at cruise fares that are considerably lower than similar ships from cruise lines like Carnival, Norwegian, or even Royal Caribbean. Ships like MSC Seascape, MSC Seashore, and MSC Seaside offer Caribbean cruises from Miami and Port Canaveral. These ships boast some of the most outdoor spaces at sea, and these public decks include several features that will appeal to all types of travelers. There are several large pools, each with their own theme, including a family-friendly pool as well as adults-only pools. These ships also feature interactive water parks, sports courts, as well as a number of themed bars and entertainment venues inside the ship. The children's areas on both of these ships are also quite large with diverse activities for kids from three to 17 years old. Other activities on board these ships include interactive experiences like 4D ride simulators, an F1 car simulator, and other digitally enhanced games. These ships also feature a waterfront boardwalk with amazing outdoor views, alfresco dining and drinks, and an exclusive adults only pool area. Having sailed on these vessels, we do have to admit that MSC Cruises mega ships certainly are comparable to mega ships from other cruise lines. But one aspect where MSC Cruises blows the competition out of the water is on the price. MSC Cruises offers some ridiculously low fares to get on board these ships. For instance, cruisers looking for a last minute deal could book a seven night Western Caribbean cruise from Port Canaveral on MSC Seaside and pay just $58 per person per night. If you need a little bit more time to plan, you could take a similar cruise on MSC Seashore about six months in advance and only pay about $70 per person per day for a seven night Western Caribbean cruise. When considering the pros and cons of cruising with MSC Cruises, one of the pros is that many of these cheap cruises are on newer innovative mega ships. The ships have plenty of amenities as well as a lot of outdoor space for you to really enjoy the Caribbean. However, we do feel that the casual dining on MSC Cruises falls short when compared to the likes of Carnival Cruise Line. Also, if you book one of these lower fares, you're going to be stuck with a traditional dining in the main dining room and you're auto assigned a time, which is actually difficult to change. You have to wait till you're on the ship to try to adjust that dining time. Not to mention that several of those innovative features, well, they actually cost you more money. So if you want to use something like the Robotron or some of the digital interactive games, you do have to pay extra. Those are not included in the cruise fare. And even if you decide to pay for some of those upcharge activities or even upgrade your stateroom so you would have something like flexible dining, odds are you'd still be paying less with MSC Cruises when compared to similar ships like the Breakaway Plus class with Norwegian Cruise Line or the Freedom Class with Royal Caribbean. And then there's one cruise line that takes the cake for the cheapest cruise line. Formerly Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, the new Margaritaville at Sea Paradise has gone through a major update. And while it now boasts Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville branding, it still offers cheap and cheerful cruises. Sailings run for two nights from Palm Beach to Grand Bahama Island and back. The cruise line often runs deals and promotions such as buy one, get one, cruise fares, which makes the price of entry even more appealing. The ship includes several complimentary restaurants, including the Port of Indecision Buffet, the Finn's Main Dining Room, and the Cheeseburger in Paradise Burger Bar. With both a family pool and adults only pool, as well as signature Margaritaville inspired activities, as well as several entertainment options and themed bars. The cruise line tries to appeal to all ages. Depending on the promotion, the cruise line advertises cruise fares as low as $89 per person for the two night cruise. Once you add the taxes and port fees, that equates to about $280 for the two night sailing for two people, or roughly $70 per person per day. And of course, that's for an inside guaranteed cabin. Given these are two day sailings, the prices do vary depending on the departure day. But in our experiences, you'd be hard pressed to find a starting price for these two night cruises over $400 once you include the cruise fare and port fees and taxes. 
meaning the most you should ever pay for a Margaritaville at Sea Cruise is about $100 per person per day. However, in our extensive research, we tend to find the prices is closer to $80 per person per day. And as we mentioned, sometimes you can get it for even cheaper. In addition, the cruise line offers a number of upgrades, including several different drink packages, as well as specialty dining. You can actually check out our Margaritaville at Sea Paradise ship tour, as well as our cruise review video from the inaugural sailing of this brand new cruise line. During that sailing, we were really impressed with the five o'clock somewhere bar, which is the outdoor aft bar next to the buffet. We also really enjoyed the main theater entertainment. We thought the shows and onboard live music were right on par for a ship called Margaritaville at Sea. And lastly, we give nods to the cruise director and cruise director staff. They were everywhere and high energy. They made a lot of the activities and events that much more fun. But it is true that the cruise ship is over 30 years old. The cabins received some new decor and furnishings, but really could have used a deep clean. The same was true of other venues, as it was very apparent which venues had been updated and which ones hadn't been touched, never mind actually cleaned. And while it is true that Margaritaville at Sea does have some of the cheapest cruises of any cruise line, sometimes you get what you pay for. Now that you know the three cheapest cruise lines, we need to get you prepared for your next trip. Well, lucky for you, right here on YouTube, we have our look at the 21 cruise boarding day mistakes many cruisers are still making and how you can avoid them. In that video, we give you our insider tips to ensure the first day of your cruise is stress and hassle-free. That way, your entire trip is smooth sailing.